Hey guys, so this video is for those of you that are aspiring storyboard artists, but you don't have access to industry software such as Toon Boom Storyboard Pro, Adobe Photoshop, or even a big Cintiq or a drawing tablet. It's actually really easy to storyboard in Procreate on an iPad. I'm surprised more people don't do it, to be honest with you. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot with the algorithm since I'm a small YouTuber. If you're interested in learning art or storyboarding, I have a Discord server that I run where I do weekly streams, I give homework assignments, I do drawovers, and I also do one-on-one -on -one personalized mentorship starting at just $20 a month. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. I want to note that I will be going over how to do animation industry level storyboards. This is not going to be like the other storyboard tutorials that you see on YouTube. Most of them are for people that are doing commercials or they're doing some other sort of project. I'm specifically going to go over animation pipeline ready storyboards. I've been a storyboard artist in animation for the last six years. I've worked on a bunch of shows and I use this method all the time. If I'm just lying in bed and I want to get something out of my system without having to, you know, sit at my desk, open up my Cintiq and my Storyboard Pro and everything. All you need is like a regular iPad. This is an iPad Air that's a couple of years old now. I think it was around like 600. You need an Apple Pencil and you just need Procreate, which I think is $10 on the App Store. So yeah, just open up Procreate, create a new canvas. We're going for a wide aspect ratio here, so we're just gonna do 1920 by 1080. So go ahead and select a light gray from your color palette and drag and drop that to your canvas so it fills up the whole canvas. You'll see why in a sec. Go to your gear icon on the top left and hit canvas, crop and resize, and you're gonna create some space at the bottom for a black bar where all of your dialogue and your sound effects will go. Like I said, this is for animation industry pipeline storyboarding. This is not for like a grid of storyboards that you can put in your portfolio or for a commercial or anything like that. This is specifically for storyboard panels that you can put into a PDF and click through one by one. So we've got that. I'm gonna select black and just do that. Click on the top left gear icon again. Now, very important, you're gonna use the page assist feature. So you'll notice the little bar on the bottom that's opened up. It's kind of like a timeline, except that you can't time out your panels. The page assist feature is kind of like if each storyboard panel you have would be like a different page in a comic book. Now, I want you to go to the bottom, click on that little panel, select a background. This is gonna ensure that every single panel you create is gonna have that black bar at the bottom. So you'll see I keep making new layers and it looks pretty much the same because this template with the black bars serves as our background. And that's pretty much it, honestly. That's the entire setup you need. Moving forward, every single panel is a folder. That's all you need to remember. So let's say I'm gonna, I don't know, draw someone like walking home from school or something. I'm just gonna get a little grid going. Also, if you're a recruiter and you're watching this, I'm still very much looking for a job and I promise I board better than this. This is just for demonstration purposes. I can't draw if I'm recording myself for some reason. Okay, so this is basically how the method works. You draw your background, select your layer, turn it way down in opacity, and then you make a new layer at 100% opacity and that's where you draw your character. You have to make sure that they're both in one group so that they show up as one panel. If you draw them separately and if they're not part of the same group, they show up as separate. So that's why I said that one panels equals one folder. You have to make sure that they're part of the same folder. So that's pretty much how I do it. If you want to do breakdowns of a shot like this, all you have to do is like duplicate. So it makes a new panel that's identical. And then you just select your character and move them along, just like that. Duplicate again, move them along again. And there you have it, your storyboarding. That's really the essence of this method. It's really, really simple, like I mentioned. I'm gonna show you how to add text real quick. First, make sure you have white selected so that the text that pops up is white. Go to your top left gear icon. Make sure you have add selected and then select the add text option. And then you just take it, move it down. Once you move it down, for some reason, it like deselects the text option. So I have to like go back in here and like reselect it. And now you can just type. The 
UI is not really ideal for the text, but you know, I can literally lie in bed and storyboard when I use this method so it works. And that's it. You have text. Again, just make sure it's all in one folder. If you want to add tone at any point, it's pretty much the same logic. You just make sure you have the right panel selected, create another layer underneath, may reduce the opacity or make it gray and then you have a fully toned panel that's pretty much it honestly like i said it's really simple i'm surprised why more people don't do it just a quick little plug in addition to being a professional artist i am also an adhd coach if you're an artist like me who also has adhd and you struggle with things like being able to focus on your work setting goals getting your portfolio done i have a six-week adhd coaching program that i've designed specifically for people like us i have individual and group ADHD coaching sessions available. The next cohort starts in January of 2025. If you're interested in reserving your spot or if you just want to know more about it, there's going to be a link in the description box below. Okay, back to the video. And to export this, all you have to do is go to the settings, share, share as a PDF. Like I said, it's really, really easy. The only thing that you want to watch out for is I know Procreate has a layer limit, so you will have to split up your storyboard into multiple different files if it is longer. I think for a file of this size, which is like 1920 by 1080, it's something around like 300 to 400 layers, which if you have like 100 panels at three layers each, it's like a pretty decent size for a storyboard sequence. If anything, you might have to split it up into like multiple different parts. It's way easier to do this than to go through and have like one Procreate file for each panel. I can see how that adds up like really, really quickly. I will say this is more similar to feature style storyboarding, which is generally done in Photoshop with its fancy like drawing brushes and whatnot. This is not really similar to the TV storyboards you would do in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro because those are more vector based and generally more detail and more laid out. This is excellent in my opinion for getting like thumbnails or like rough storyboards out. I've done a handful of my own personal projects in Procreate just like this, usually shorter sequences. And it's actually really simple once you get the hang of it. So think of it like boarding in Photoshop, not really like Storyboard Pro, but for the purposes of a portfolio, it still works in my opinion. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.